Hello, welcome. My name is Adam, and this is P3D version 4.3. So, uh, I bring out a video pretty much every once a week or twice a week. Uh, if you want to make sure you get all my videos, please hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button, make it ring, and you'll get every single video. This video is all about FTX Central, it's all about Orbex. So, I want to go through all the features of this fantastic app that Orbex have given us, and uh, hopefully, uh, a lot of people will find this useful. Uh, this this video is really mainly aimed at people who are just being introduced to Orbex. Sometimes maybe who have used it for a while but don't know the full potential of the new features that have come out. Um, and you know, people who have used this a long time and know a lot about it might just find it nice to go down memory lane. Um, so the video is not going to be for everybody, but it's uh, it's designed basically to help you. Uh, enhance your flight simulation experience so you don't have scenery problems within your flight simulator. That's one thing I've uh, come across in the past couple of weeks especially is that there's been a lot of issues like aroused by Orbex um, or this product um, that has also been helped you know by this product as well but a lot of people have had problems with their scenery, their scenery library, with airports um, either the textures inside the scenery are missing, they're either black or black objects, and it's just, I, there's a lot of issues I, I, I see in Facebook groups, on the Orbex forums, and I just thought, to help a lot of people at once, I'll make a video, and people can refer to this then as the, the guide to uh, their problems, because what I'm about to show you will solve about 75% of all the issues that are out there. I have a flawless experience in my flight simulator. I um, personally don't actually come up against that many problems at all. Um, it's mainly only when I introduce some new software that I haven't properly configured um, as in terms of the settings for that particular product um, that I come across a problem. And uh, I, I, I've been flight simming since about 2000 and I've been on P3D version 4 since last year when it first came out and I've only had one serious crash that I had to reinstall everything um, and I've only had one apart from that crash I've only had one problem where I needed to rejig my scenery library config um, in order to bring it all back to normal and I have not had any issues now I'm not you know, showing off going, well, hey, look at me, I've got no issues. But I, th I feel that my knowledge can help people and give them the, you have no issues in your simulator. Now, in order for this to happen, there's got to be a couple of things here. You know, this video is not designed for anybody who has illegally pirated or downloaded any type of product within their simulator because Orbex, I don't feel, will run properly if you've got pirated software. Um, even if you put it in naturally and fluidly, I just feel that somewhere along that line it hasn't been installed correctly if it's been put in sort of sneakily. So really, I think people who, I mean first off I don't agree with piracy full stop. Um, you know, the only thing that I kind of download is YouTube. <laughs> when I'm watching a YouTube video, the data is being downloaded. So, I mean, everybody downloads at the end of the day. We all download data. But um, I don't agree with piracy of the flight sim products because at the end of the day, it's a small community. I have been to Cosford this year for the first time and it's such a small community. There's only like less than 3,000 people who attended both the Cosford uh, event and the one in Las Vegas. So it's not a big community and to completely rip off developers and people who have put their hard-earned uh, money before their mouth and who have put their time and blood and sweat and tears ahead of their family uh, to then just go to a site and go thanks I'll have that for free I don't have to pay thumbs fingers up to you guys then it's like I think you're actually making more problems for yourselves because you're gonna get problems in your sim um, first off, if you yeah, if you've got any pirated software, you probably won't want to watch this video. So I think the views on this video will speak for itself on how many people have got pirated software and who haven't, because um, I think for everything to work properly, you do need to have a legit 100% running sim. 
And again, I've had very little problems with my sim. Very little problems at all. So, with that said, let's start having a look at what this FTX Central can do for us. Uh, again, I think it's a fabulous product. I'm a little bit biased because I started, you know, buying Orbex back in FSX days and um, I've pretty much, you know, got a lot of these products, but not every single one, but, you know, I really like them, so I'm a bit biased, but saying all that, I know quite a bit about this product as well. I know what it can do, and I know what it can't do, and I know what it should do. So, um, first off, it depends on what kind of sim you want to what kind of products you want to get. And it, I think it all comes down to what kind of airplanes are you going to be flying? Are you going to be flying low and slow, or are you going to be flying high and fast? Because if you're going to be flying low and slow, then there are certain products you would buy and there are certain products you don't need. And if you are flying up high in the air, then you definitely don't need some products, but you definitely need others. And I'm not talking just about Orbex. Um, I'm, I would include Mega Scenery in that, um, in that list as well. So I think uh, I'm just going to go through the features uh, of this whole thing first, and then I can talk a little bit about you know what feature which which one of these would be best for you to buy if you were flying a particular type of aircraft because I think that's what it really comes down to so uh, first off we FTX global the base pack uh, that is I think an essential purchase for everybody to have it be it, it comes basically replaces all your textures in your sit in your sim um, all your default textures which are basically pants um, will be just completely cleaned off and then these will be installed instead. So I just feel everybody should really have the global base pack. Uh, there's a new one that has come out from uh, GEX, uh, the ground packs experience, whatever it's called. And it's basically the same thing as FTX global base pack. Um, the only difference is, is the way that it places the textures within the sim. They're the same resolution, they're the same type of textures really. They're not obviously the same textures, but they're just placed in the sim in a different way, so it's kind of a personal preference. And GEX and FTX are not compatible with each other, no matter what anybody says. Both companies state this in all their documents. Now, every one of these products, well not every single one, but a majority of all these products actually come with a user manual. And I really recommend you reading them. And if you don't know where they are, you've already got them on your computer. You simply go into the products that you've purchased, you go to user guide, and up will flash the PDF of the document. And you read through it and it tells you all about this document, how it's compatible with what, and also it will give you, if we scroll down here a little bit, a sort of best use guide for your settings. Now, I personally don't use these. I use a, a different version of these um, for mega scenery, really. But um, it is great practice. You know, these are the best settings that Orbex want you to use on the average PC for best performance uh, and visual. Now, my PC isn't average, it's above average, so therefore I can have these sliders set to more than what they say here and enjoy a higher experience. But um, yeah, that's where your user guide is. Now, if you wanted to find this manually, you basically go to your Orbex folder here and it's in user documents and all the documents that you've paid for are here, okay? And you know, it's, it's worth going through each one. It really is. Uh, I find it so, you know, handy. Um, and it gives you a lot of uh, information and a lot of knowledge. So um, check them out, read them really before you in, like, read, like, before you, after you've installed it, go to the user document first, you know. Some of these also have control panels. Uh, FTX Global doesn't, um, but the LAN class does. Some of these have control panels. Now, these are designed really for individual systems. So if you've got a really good high-end system, you can have all these boxes ticked and you can be laughing, you're all the way to the bank. Um, and I really recommend having a really nice high-end system. If you can't afford it, simply save up for it. 
but it will save a lot of your problems by having a very good fast system. I think some people's problems are caused as well as piracy, but also that they're running a very low end system and Orbex is struggling to maintain its performance on your system and that can cause errors as well. So these control panel sections are really to customize your experience with the products. So if you have got a system that isn't perhaps, you know, 100% up to scratch, you can go to the control panel and uh, not that one because we're going to be talking about that a little bit later on. You can go to the control panel, which Iceland doesn't have one. Let's see, that one doesn't have one. My gosh, where are all these control panels? The lights configure. You can go to control pa panel and you can tick which ones you want. And, uh, you know, don't know why that's not showing up. There we go. And you can tick which ones you want and customize your experience for your um, PC itself and therefore get the better performance out of Orbex. Um, I don't have everything installed as you can see. Um, the reason I don't have the mesh, which is true for all my regions, I don't have the any type of mesh installed is because I use FX, FS Global Ultimate Next Generation and Orbex developers themselves have told me personally that all their mesh is like 10 meters per pixel and so the uh, mesh resolution I use is much higher so there's no need to have it installed there's no need to have this Australian Holger mesh installed because the one I use is of better quality uh, there's no need to have the region mesh installed either so I've got like all the regions here for um, the Europe and each one of these comes with its own mesh now its mesh is only 10 meters per pixel well that's no good because I've got stuff on here that's like one meter per pixel so I basically have gone in to my scenery library and I've unticked all my mesh files because I simply don't need to display them I don't need to have them installed into the system and to be honest global FTX global you know the Orbex pack all the Orbex products are big enough files on their own um, it's uh, it really they take up a lot of space and that comes to my next point which there is a new button here I've noticed in the past couple of months verify files we're gonna get into that in a moment so how can this whole um, app basically how can it enhance my flight simulating experience well let's go through the steps first so uh, what you'll come across is a lot of these will have the shopping trolley cart icon on it because you won't have purchased many of them you know uh, and if you click one it will bring up straight to the Orbex page and if you're logged into your account it will you'll be logged in and you can literally read up about that one you just clicked you see screenshots there might even be a video it'll tell you which um, where is it well it tells you on the app as well actually but it tells you which uh, no it doesn't it tells you which simulators it is good for which uh, I guess oh there it is at the bottom it tells you which simulators it's supported for so this particular one FSX uh, all the editions and prepared all the editions um, and then you can literally add it to the cart and go purchase it and it gives you three different um, denominations of currency there so I live in the UK so this is only 14 quid really to purchase this one airport which is pretty reasonable to be honest 14 quid for an airport I mean they might be having a sale on I think I have to go through this and later on and purchase a few airports um, so that's that and then once you've um, bought it once you've paid for it it will come up like this not installed uh, and it, it's not in your sim yet okay you haven't put it in you've bought it and Orbex have recognized that you've paid for it but they haven't given it to you yet okay now you can go along and you can start buying up I mean these are like properties you know you can go up and start buying properties but until you install it you're never gonna see the benefit in your sim installation is so easy so is the maintenance of the installation so you click on the item and you get confronted with this page product download now you can either click install products and just straight away it'll start installing it I'm not gonna do it because I don't want this installed on my system 
but it will start installing it straight away. The other option is going to installation options and you're given three choices. Now, this is handy if you want to save time in the future, okay? You can click download and install it now and then create a backup for later. And all you've got to do is click to a location on your hard drive or on a hard drive somewhere where you'd like that backup to take place. And if you have a backup for all your Orbex products, then installation in the future becomes so much easier if you need to delete something and reinstall it. You can literally go to installation options, I have already a backup, or installed from my manually downloaded zip, go to that location and click continue and it will install it and you don't need to download it again, right? If you just go to install product, it will re-download that file first. So that could take a bit of time if you've got a slow connection, but if you've backed up all your Orbex files, you can do it straight from a backup. And you don't need to worry about having the latest version because if any of your Orbex products are out of date and need updating, a little red icon will appear next to one of your categories saying, you know, like a one or a two. And when you click on it, it will say needs updating or update or there'll be a red icon on the product that you need the update on. And if you need to update your libraries, which basically is like an index for everything and making sure that everything is running smoothly, um, having the latest libraries is so important for everything to be running smoothly. That will tell you here, you know, there is a libraries update. In fact, I can even show you that process now. If we go to our libraries, which are here, and um, in fact, I can talk about the verify files button now. So this is a new button that's come up, verify my files. So what this is doing now is it's going through my libraries, it's scanning them, right? And it's making sure that they're all installed correctly, okay? And it's going to give me the status of this at the end. It's going to say, yes, you're, you're fine, or yeah, no, actually, you've got missing files. You need to update this. Um, so... This is a very handy tool to make sure that once you've downloaded your product, that you haven't, there's no missing files. Because sometimes when you download a product, you know, if you had an internet glitch or if you've had a temporarily, you know, disabled internet connection for some whatever reason, then your files could get damaged. You could actually have corrupted files. So this is basically to ensure none of the files are corrupted. So now that it's pretty much run its course, it's going to tell me, or now it's actually downloading, I'm sorry, um, all the files necessary. And at the end of this whole process, it's going to tell me if it's complete or if I need to update my files. Now, just because I've done this doesn't mean um, that it's going to run okay in the sim. It just means that there's nothing wrong with the files themselves. Now, if I wanted to completely uninstall my library, so once this has run its course, I'm going to show you something here under Troubleshooter, okay? So, if I go to Migration Troubleshooter and I run this, okay? Basically, oh hello, I've got missing files under FTX Global. Now, to be honest, I'm always going to have missing files under FTX Global because I use UTX for some of my Canadian files which overwrite FTX Global every time I load up the sim so I've always got missing files under FTX Global that I'm not worried about but if any one other one of these had missing missing files um, it tells you where they are as well but if any one of these had missing files what I could do is I could go to uh, if I can remember correctly how to do it now um, I believe it's user documents versions these oops these are all the index files I guess for everything you've got in your sim okay and if you need to quickly delete anything and start again right we can delete Orbex libs which is the library files if I delete that okay and if I was to start this again if I was to start um, Orbex thing again. So if I go to verify files again, it's going to show that oh, hang on, you haven't got this installed, and it's going to download it and install it, right? And 
And while it's doing that, I just want to go back to this. I have everything on my D drive. I don't have everything in my SIM drive. I have it on a separate drive that I uh, link to my C drive. So this Orbex folder, the simulator believes it is in the simulator folder. But actually, I have it on a separate drive altogether. And the reason because is if we go to properties, it's like it's near it's over 200 gig in size this this folder all these uh, files from Orbex it's massive so to save not only save space but to also uh, save performance I have it on a another S SD drive there's like 285 gig there so it's like whoa so um, okay what 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 I would need to do is I would need to re uh, hang on let's do that again actually I kind of did it wrong. So if I go to and delete the Orbex libs and I come out of that, right? And now if I was to start the Orbex up again, it's going to say that my Orbex libs are not installed correctly. See? Not installed. And it's an update is now required. I could literally click that if I wanted to, and it would take me to that. Or I could click on that and it would take me to the same location, whatever. All I need to do is install the product and it's now going to install the libs. And it hasn't, that, I mean, this hasn't going to have affected my, my, um, my sim at all by just showing you this. But what I'm showing you is that there is a way to make sure that Orbex is not the culprit of your scenery problems. So verify the files first. If you have a problem with black textures in your simulator, well, it's a texture problem, which means if it's a texture like, for instance, um, an area of land, well, that's probably going to come under FTX Global, okay? If it's a texture of a building, again, that's probably going to come under FTX Global. But if it's like I'm missing a lake, well, that could be a land class problem or even a vector problem. Um, if it's a elevation airport problem, then that is a airport elevation problem. And what you want to make sure is that all these products are actually fine first. And you can do that by verifying their files. Okay, now that we've verified the files, we know that the problem isn't the files themselves. Right, now we can troubleshoot it even more. And that's what this whole app is great for, is it helps you to troubleshoot your own problems so you don't have to keep going back to the Orbex forum and going, I don't know what's happened. So um, that's one of, another great thing about this. Uh, so going back through more of these, um, let's talk about the settings here now. Again, um, this spot here the scenery library, choose your location, is another fantastic little tool here. So in your scenery library, and if you're running um, FSX or prepared, I'm not too sure how X-Plane do it about their scenery library, but they'll have some sort of scenery library. And the way it works in FSX is that everything needs to be in a very particular order for your simulator to run fine. But in prepared, especially version 4, you don't really need to have it in an exact order. But as long as things are in the general order, things will work fine. So, for instance, um, all your Orbex products in your scenery library should be stacked underneath all your payware products. So, Orbex is like your base for your simulator. And then underneath Orbex will be the default stuff that came with the simulator itself. And then on top of Orbex, like a sandwich, is everything else. And it helps you do this. So if you haven't installed anything, and the best way to do this is if you have got a completely clean sim, because you'll when you do this, it will do it from now on. It will arrange everything the way it should, but it will install the way you want it to install from now on and you'll probably get less problems arising in the future so basically what you want to tell Orbex is where in your scenery library it should be putting itself because what will happen is it will put itself more or less on top 
where it needs to be underneath. So in order to tell your, uh, in order to tell Orbex where all your payware add-ons are, you need to have like a level, and that's called the FTX level, and you need to tell Orbex where that level should begin. So, and it'll be different for everybody because everybody's got different um, items in their uh, in their simulator. So here are all the payware items that I've got. Okay, and what we need to do is we need to scroll down to the very last item in the list. Okay, uh, in my case it's Colorado Mega Scenery version three, and then click on that. Okay, now that's telling this package of Orbex to say right, that's where we begin installing our stuff. Okay, and the land class entries then I mean you again you scroll down until you see FTX. And then everything below that will be your uh, land class because according to Orbex, your land class should be sitting on top of all your other products. Um, so all your default stuff, you know, which is below Orbex and the mesh as well sits uh, below that. So that's the way it should sit. And then you click save. Now, every time you install a product into your scenery library, Orbex, if you run your vector tool, Orbex is going to look at your scenery config file and rearrange it according to what you've got set here. Now, it's not going to be a rearranged in a nice looking way. It's probably going to be a bit, you know, nothing's going to be put in blocks and it's going to look nice and clean. And it doesn't need to be in prepared version 4.3, but it's going to put things appropriately. It's going to put default at the bottom, then Orbex, then your payware things on top and that's the way it should be okay you don't need to be putting airports on top and then this underneath and then orbex that underneath and you know it doesn't need to be like that much ocd it just needs to be general for and that's just for version four by the way version three you still need it's like fsx you still need to have it very put into a structure so i suppose this really only works for version four guys um but you can use this tool that I'm about to show you next for all versions of prepared. And the, the tool that I'm talking about, as everybody probably knows, is the vector tool. This is a godsend in the simulation world. And anybody who says it isn't doesn't understand how to use it to its best. Okay? So, anytime you install any payware, scenery, or airport, what you want to do is you've just installed it. Okay? You want to open up your simulator and go to that airport and then just sit on the taxiway or sit on the runway in any plane you want. I would recommend just the default plane that loads. Don't load up a PMGG plane because it's going to take forever. Just load up a very quick and easy. You don't even need to load up the weather. You just need to load up the sim to the airport. And then once you're sitting on that runway, close the sim down and come to this tool okay run an auto configuration okay and what this does is it looks at your scenery config file and it has a look at every single add-on that you've got installed and it says hmm that's actually going to cause a problem with this airport elevation we're going to disable or we're going to enable it for the corrections okay so if i was to run this now which it's going to take a bit of time to be honest so we can go away and do something else while it's doing that um, it's basically going to look at my config file and it's going to order it correctly. Okay. Now you can also do it manually if you feel like it's missed one, and it, it might do. It might miss a couple of airports, and then you can manually enable or disable. Okay, the airport. So if I wanted to, like for instance, DFW airport, I could disable that manually, or I could enable it manually if it's if it's missed it okay so that's you know an option as well which is pretty cool because you know sometimes the vector tool might miss it now you'll only get this vector tool if you've bought ftx global vector okay it's worth getting the vector tool on its own like never mind if you haven't got if you're not using the vector product it this is worth getting it just for this okay it also comes with other things as well, like you can actually select if you want 
primary roads, highways, secondary roads, even down to bridges, traffic, you know, railways, if you want them being seen in your sim. Now, this is a performance modifier. If you haven't got a very good system, you might want to untick everything. If you've got like a super duper system, you want everything ticked. Now, personally, secondary roads, 40,000 feet, you ain't even going to see secondary roads, so you don't even need it ticked. Okay, even if you're flying at like 8,000 feet, why are you looking at secondary roads down below? I don't know. Okay, it's like some of these don't need to be ticked, and it will save you performance for unticking them. Same with water features and other various features. Like, I untick golf courses, parks, and power lines because I don't really need to be seeing them on the ground. It's really the airplane that I am here for. I'm here learning how to fly the airplane, not going for some pleasure ride looking at the scenery. So, I mean, beaches and the wetlands are kind of a necessity. You want to see beaches at, uh, at a location, so I keep them ticked. But basically, these are performance modifiers. If you've got a low-end system, you can untick a lot of these. And uh, in under settings, you want to tell, uh, for your add-on's sake, if you've got Australia installed or not. So we're going to leave that to run its course and come back to it when uh, it's ready. Another thing is when you've downloaded your products, when you've downloaded any Orbex product and then installed it, it's worth hitting the clear temp button. The reason is because what will happen is when you download your products, Orbex says that it deletes the download file off your system. But what it actually does is your computer keeps a backup of it for like 30 days and then deletes it. So and it's in your temp folder. And what you should do is if you click that, you're actually just saving yourself a bit of hard drive space. So if you're actually really low on hard drive space, hit your clear temp button and it will remove all your temporary downloaded files in the temp folder. Or it will also remove any temp files relating from Orbex anyway. Um, another great little tool is force migration. Now I think a lot of people don't know about this because a lot of people's problems get solved by this. And it kind of ties back in to this little troubleshooter here, migration troubleshooter that we had. Now, what does the migration troubleshooter do? Well, what it does is it checks every single file in your Orbex uh, folders and it makes sure that they're all there. It makes sure that there's no problems. It's detected I've got missing files in FTX Global, right? Oh dear. And it's even given me on my desktop a little f um, text file telling me where all the uh, missing files are and to be honest there is a load of them and that's because I use UTX okay so the files have been sort of overridden now if I was to force the migration okay of the unified LC lookup right this is more or less for people who have just come to uh, FTX central either from an older version or it's not for new users this if you've just started using Orbex you don't need to migrate anything because you haven't got anything to migrate. You don't even need to click that button or worry about it. But if you've been using it from either an older simulator or an older version of Orbex FTX Central, then you want to make sure you click Start Migration. Now, if you've already clicked it, it'll pretty much run its course quite quickly. Okay, if you've never clicked it, it's going to take longer than it is right now to go through all this because it's going to go through all your add-ons. Okay, and it's just going to basically make sure, like the old way of Orbex was if you got into, let's say, England and you wanted to go to Scotland, you basically had to come into this uh, application and tick the regions that you wanted to fly in to enable them to load into your simulator. And then it would load both regions into your simulator for the flight. You don't have to do that now. Okay, you don't have to load. It already sort of works it out in the background for you. Um, and that's what this start migration is for. Clicking that, it basically, it, it, it enables everything to be loaded. So you can go flying wherever you want in the world. But it also kind of helps with um, any problems you may have as well. Because by, you know, make like by doing what it's doing, it's actually double checking everything as well. So it's like a two for one, really. Um, and then next time you run your troubleshooter migration, 
once you've run this and you've gone to uh, for instance verify the files you'll find I'm not going to do it because I don't want it to work um, but you'll find that then the missing files are back and are complete you know um, and uh, and there you go you you know you're away in your sim again without any problems again the problems that you're most likely going to encounter by Orbex are missing textures missing objects like houses that should be there that aren't there but then again you gotta make sure your sliders are all at the correct level as well um, what else missing textures black textures which are missing textures or elevation problems at your airport anything else and it's probably not Orbex doing it it's probably the simulator or a hardware configuration and um, and all your problems can be solved by this vector tool alone okay so I'm gonna wrap up this video soon because we're getting over the 30 minute mark here I mean I did say this is about Orbex FTX Central but um, so if you okay let's talk about if you're flying a commercial airlining uh, jet 40,000 feet in the air as opposed to if you're flying a general aviation aircraft 5,000 feet off the ground okay if you're flying an aircraft 40,000 feet in the air there's going to be a lot of things you're not going to see. You're not going to see houses per se, okay? You're going to be seeing clouds. So your weather is probably more important than Orbex. But at the end of the day, you do want to see something. And I highly recommend that if you're an airliner pilot, the only products you need to buy is FTX Global Base Pack, okay? And that's it. I, you don't even need vector, but I would buy it be just to get the vector tool for the airports because you're going to land at an airport and you're going to come across problems with other sceneries that you're uh, installing or other um, products that you're installing, like airports. So you will need the vector tool, so therefore you do need to buy a vector, but you don't really... Like, you can save performance by not having it. Um, has that run its course? No. Nope. So why have we come back to this screen? I don't know. I think the thingy has finished. Let's go back. Excuse me. Um, but you can save performance by not uh, installing it. So uh, you can uninstall it. I have it because I also fly general air aviation aircraft at low altitudes. And that's what it's good for. It's also good for making your shorelines look very nice. There is a massive difference if you use Vector and if you don't. But there is also a massive difference in your performance for your frames. So it's it's really, you know, like, but open land class, like North America, South America, I would say you only need these uh, if you are not intending to fly low. In fact, I mean, to be honest, you really don't need these even if you're flying high because cloud base will cover this you know and when you're coming in for a landing you know it's like uh, your airport is what you're gonna be seeing so you really don't need these but it will enhance your visual sim if you do have it but if you're flying low to be honest what you really want is the regions if you're doing VFR flying only then I would just recommend going for regions because these have higher quality textures higher quality mesh and higher quality land class in them than the global range do because the global range yes it is for everywhere it's global you know it's for europe it's for north america and south america their next one they're working on is africa and the um the sort of uh, other side of europe the eastern europe side um but it's like it's not it's it's not high resolution stuff whereas the uh the region packs are high resolution so if you're only going to be VFR flying then just get the the individual regions because they contain all the information for these packs as well but in a better volume in a better way like I mean I just recommend getting the FTX global base pack anyway because it will replace all your default textures and if you check out my video on global base um, I go into that in more detail and specifically you get to see the difference because there's like a before and after video 
So you can visually see the difference there. In fact, I did, uh, there's a video on pretty much all of these products. There's one on the vector, how to use the vector tool, um, which is kind of what this is a little bit, but there's also one on the UK and there's also a video on North America and the difference between installing these and not installing these. So um, check them videos out. They're kind of worth it. But again, this, this whole Orbex app is really cool. And I'd say really worth getting. Um, if you're on the fence about Orbex versus other developers like GEX or UTX, um, it is kind of like one or the other. You know, you either go with this one or you go with that one because they don't work side by side because, you know, the GEX is exactly the same as the FTX Global. You know, they just do it in a different way, but they don't work together, you know, and it probably will very much limit and hinder your sim or break your sim if you try and install both at the same time you literally have to remove if you want to go with GEX you have to remove everything from Orbex because it just doesn't work with GEX at all and vice versa if you if you're GEX and you want to go Orbex you've got to remove GEX you can have UTX like I have UTX and this on the same system yes I've got the missing files from global but that's because UTX have overwrote the global ones for Canada, which is fine. I don't mind that. But um, anyway, that's that, and that's this video. If there's any questions for anything I've missed, for any issues that you have faced that have not been answered by my ranting in this video, please leave a comment below, and I will answer it straight away. Now, when this finishes its run, all I have to do is click apply and exit out, and then go and install my shaders or reinstall sorry reapply my shaders I use PTA if you don't have shaders if you don't use shaders then you don't need to worry about it but if you do use shaders you need to reapply them and then your airport will look fine you won't have blue lakes or floating objects or black textures or missing textures which are the same thing you won't have half the problems you have if you do this all correctly um, their website is great and in fact before I go I just want to talk about these three sections here obviously that's their product page so you've got their your you know, global Europe North America everything you see in this here is what you see in that there okay but these other two here are totally worth checking out Iceland demo and the Tasmania demo do not appear in the Australia or the UK products they offer okay this is a separate on its own product okay if you get this and you can get it if you have P3D or FSX you have the entire island of Iceland at your disposal okay it's totally free you do not have to pay for this item uh, same with Tasmania it's a demo you can try it and there is no time limit there is no restriction it's totally free it shouldn't say demo because really it's a full complete package you know it should say hey here's a freebie um, Pacific Northwest now that is a small area that does is included in the Pacific Northwest area of their North American continent of uh, Pacific Northwest there so you don't really need to get that one if you've got the Pacific Northwest area but if you haven't got it then by all means get it um, it's totally worth having these same with freeware right all of these are absolutely free there's loads of airports and there's loads of areas and regions okay so I mean you got Bob which is the aircraft the, and is the only aircraft available at the moment but it's a free walk around like you could walk around with this person um, you've got numerous airports most of them are in Australia but some of them are also in other parts of the world you got the whole Gramesh I don't use it but it's free you can have it if you wanted it there's even a mission there um, and traffic as well you have free AI traffic now important thing to note I use Traffic Global and it doesn't cover Australia, so Orbex cover me for Australia with these two items alone. Um, and they work fine with Traffic Global, I just need to configure them 
in the FTX Central when I go to Oceana and I scroll down and I click on AI traffic I just need to go to my control panel and configure this for in conjunction with the um, package that I use for my traffic totally worth it they're all free uh, you've even got the Yosemite National Park the Devil's Tower you know they're absolutely free and they're really good they're they're payware quality I like it even says here full featured payware quality airport you're absolutely right it is fully featured and it is you know worth it I mean these are basically they're just trying to sell other products here cityscape that's a you can trial their cityscape and then you once you go wow that looks so good you'll go buy other cityscapes because they do they do other ones for other regions but totally get all of these and if you if you if you are aware they're here then boy you well done for you great wave it around if you didn't know they were here go get them because I tell you it's uh, totally worth it FTX global airport pack is pretty cool as well because that covers hundreds hundreds of airports around the world and if you want to know what list of airports they are if you go to your Orbex folder and you go to user documents the entire uh, documentation is here and it is covered here under global freeware airports and it has all the codes and all the names of all the airports for the entire North America and South America okay and also it tells you where is it it even tells you the codes for the to disable AEC and disable uh, enabled AEC tells you which airports need to be disabled and which need to be enabled for so I mean that's that's worth it as well so and it's totally free totally recommend it totally recommend Orbex and everything they offer they're just now bringing out for um, X Plane a load of their products which is great and they're just releasing the true earth for England for X Plane and it'll be coming to PA3D in the future as well although for me personally I've got pretty much it all there but Netherlands is very good I do I do enjoy that so I probably would replace these in the future but who knows anyway that's that that's this video thanks for watching sorry for ranting on hopefully you've got a better understanding of all what FTX Central can do and any problems that you've got have been answered uh, at least once or twice a week I release a video so don't forget to subscribe like this video if you've liked it if you haven't see you later bye bye